Welcome back. Uh, this is Corona Tower, floor two. Haha. -ha. Okay. So, I came up here, I'm facing south. Uh, we checked out this place a little bit last time. Uh, but I'm gonna start mapping it out now. So I can see that pathway continues for a bit. Let's see, to the left. Uh... I can see that path continues for a bit. Let's get this guy out of here. So one white. I think we can kill this guy. Yeah, that didn't take long. I don't mind the random encounters quite so much when they don't take very long and don't do any damage to my guys. Ah, uh, how about this way? That way is also a long passage. So, just for the record here on my map, uh, I'm hoping that the tower still makes three-dimensional sense. And if that's true, then I can be very compact with this map because it's all squares and rectangles. Um, all right, so which way am I facing right now? Uh, if that's, that's that way. I turn left. Okay. Oops, drop my card. I need that time card. That's how I measure measure editing things. Okay. So we go one. Oh man. Now there's three of them. All right, my guys attack in the right order. Conveniently, we can kill at least two of them this turn. Yeah. Now let's kill another one. Yep. Okay. Um. I don't remember how many spaces I moved forward. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll open it. Okay, how many spaces did I move? Not many. So one, two, and then there's a plus. Interesting. Oh god, this floor is bigger than the floor it was that was below it. Oh no. Okay, well that's gonna be a problem for my map drawing. Hmm... Wait, maybe? Maybe it's not bigger. Hold on. Yeah, I think that checks out, actually. Okay, whew! I was really worried there for a minute. Um... Okay, so this place might have... Uh, I wanna see if this is like an inner ring. So three spaces... And then a corner. There's probably gonna be a plus right up ahead here. Two spaces forward, another plus. That checks out. Uh, and then if I look this way... One space into T-junction. Yeah, okay, so the map still makes three-dimensional sense. So that's that's all good and junk. Uh, let's see how quickly I can kill a Sphinx. One Sphinx. One turn, okay. So Sphinxes aren't too bad. Um, uh, but I don't want to risk a bomb over it. So one... Man! Friggin' whites. Uh, get out of my way. I'm trying to... I'm trying to make sure this map meets all expectations. Uh, no. Alright. And then we'll just go up this way here. Um, so what this means is that most likely I gotta get around to that north side again. <laughs> um, let me just make sure that I didn't screw up here. Whoa. Every time I see one of these serpents, it freaks me out a little bit. Cause then it's like suddenly this big pink thing shows up on screen. It's quite bizarre. Alright. Uh, so... Man, I just killed one of you. Alright, so I'm pretty sure so far this place checks out. Let me just check to the right real quick here. Yep, still pretty standard. Whoa! But there's a pitfall here. Okay, that makes things more interesting. Um. In that case. Uh. Where am I? Oh, I'm in that dead-end passage from the lower floor. Uh, looks like two spaces away from that dead end. So I'm gonna call that... So I guess this other... the stairway should be A. 
Uh, and that'll be point B then. Okay. Uh, in that case, from point B, uh, I should be able to. Do, do, do. Just trying to plan the quickest way to get back up that staircase. It's gonna be like three lefts. There's one left. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually really glad. Like, it's kind of fun drawing the map still. Uh, I don't figure it translates well over to uh, the audio podcast side of things. Uh, but I think it's amusing. And it has been incredibly helpful in playing this game. And it's been a very different experience compared to, like, uh, a lot of the other games I've played. Because I've never done this before now in this game. Obviously, I've done it plenty in this game. That's, like nearly all of what this game is, besides walking around in the world map and then taking notes about what people are telling me. Alright, so, let's see. I want to go this way and take another right. Let's see if this way is a pit. It is a pit! Okay, so now I know that both of those ways are pits. Bummer. Okay, did this drop me to the same place? Now this dropped me in front of a door. Let's see, there's two doors on this floor. Oh, whoops. Uh, I wanted to use my compass. Let's find out which door this is. East. Uh, if that's the case, then uh, that drop C drops me to right here. Okay then. Uh, so from here, I'm three rights away. There's one right. There's the two rights. And let's take a third right. Okay, so I'm actually kind of glad also. Because, like, the thing is that I uh, was debating in the last episode whether or not to finish up that first floor. Um, and since I did finish it up, I know exactly where I fell. And how to get back on track. I mean, it wouldn't have taken long to figure out, I'm sure, but... Alright, this being the case... Uh, I want to go down this way. Let me just rotate my mini-map here. I'm going to take that right. And instead of turning right again, I'm going to go straight through. Man. Friggin' whites. Uh, let's see, what do I want to do about whites? Hmm. I'll kill him. It's only two. I can probably kill him pretty quick. Yeah. I only did a little bit of damage. Okay, so whites aren't a problem either. Even if they had a few of them, I don't think they'd be able to do very much. Alright, so now the question is, do I want to walk the long way around, just to make sure the outer ring makes sense? Or just go straight for that goal? Um... Let's see, you know what? I'm going to... I think, I think I'm just gonna go for the goal. There's not a lot of room for other stuff, like, around the other side there. Uh, so, you know, may as well just try and make sure that, uh, everything's going on okay up here. One, two, three. Oh, this is definitely different. I took three steps. One, two, three. Alright. So I sort of drew like a projection box. I'm gonna erase that now because it is clearly going to be somewhat inaccurate. Um. All right, yeah, let's kill this Sphinx. I should have done that while I was erasing. My bad. All right, so we draw that door on. We draw the other side of that door, okay. Uh, no. So, pit? No, it's not a pit, okay. We go through that door. Nope. And then directly through the door is a pit. So that's convenient. Um, I'm guessing I can probably get back up there as easy as this. Yeah. Okay, then let's try going left. Skip that path because it's a pit. Turn left here. Alright, so let's see. So I'm at the T-junction. One, two... Dang it, man! 
One, two. Ah, uh, and kill the white. Get on with my life. I don't want treasure chest from one white. So we go one, two. Dang it! It's been my pattern. Let's get out of here, you! Nobody likes you. You have no friends. Man. Okay. There they go. Alright. I don't really want a treasure chest from two whites. It's still not likely to, uh... Let's see, so we go one, two... And corner. Um, I just don't think... I think most, most enemies I can kill easily. Uh, especially if there's only one or two of them. It's probably not going to be a lot of money. So one, two... Three, two, three. Fourth one and a T junction, and then just for the sake of filling out this upper area here, uh, one, two, three. Yeah, that basically just runs straight into that corner there. Okay, just back up and see what's down this way. Uh, we got one space, two space, red space, blue space. Ah, uh, stairway going up. Just as I suspected. Alright. So that's gonna be... Uh, point D on my map now. Um. Alright. So I didn't actually finish exploring floor 2 because I expect the southern regions of that map to be incredibly unimportant. Though... Hmm. There... In fact, there's definitely some room for, like, hidden stuff down there on that last floor, because there was stuff past, uh, where I fell, and I labeled point C and point B for close to the stairway. Huh. There may be more pitfalls up here on the third floor, uh, which it looks like I've already done my outline for. So let's see. Point D is going to be... Like, assuming, again, that the, uh, labyrinth here makes three-dimensional sense, that's going to be where Stairway D is. And... Let's see. Straight passage. Facing north, I'm sure. Uh, interesting. This floor may actually be smaller? Hmm. I guess we'll find out soon. Uh, oh, nope, you can see there's a little thingy there to the left. That might be just, like, an immediate dead end. Alright, let's kill these whites real quick, because they shouldn't be too bad. I hope. Uh, let's see, so I can see that there's a straight path and then the T-junction going up. So here's the thing, unless that T-junction has an immediate dead end, um, you know, the, uh, the third floor is smaller. Or still the same size. If it, if there's like another outward ring here, then either the the three dimensional sense of this map is weird, uh, or oh god, it does keep going that way. Okay, hold on. Does this map get bigger, higher up, or did I make a mistake? I think it gets bigger higher up. How unusual. How inconvenient! I'll have to, uh, I'll have to give this map some extra padding. But you know what? That's fine. Uh, we're at a good time to call it for right now. And we can come back next time on Operation Pixel. Uh, and we'll do some more of Corona Tower. Woohoo! And such.